So as many of you know, Tweetbot, probably the most anticipated Twitter client of 2011, has been posted on the App Store and is now available. Um, it happened about a few days ago, and there's already hundreds of reviews on YouTube in not even the first few days. To be honest with you, right when Soldier Knows Best and Ty's iPhone help get a hand of it, that pretty much covers the whole iPhone community on YouTube. So after that, there was really no point of making a review. And I've seen a lot of half-assed reviews, not even going over half of the features Tweetbot has. And it seems like people are just making them just so they can get on YouTube. I really don't understand the point. But now that you know my opinion on it, I will not be making a review of Tweetbot just for this reason. Instead, I will be telling you how to set up notifications with Tweetbot. Probably the biggest problem with Tweetbot is that there is no notification support. And I don't know why the hell there are no videos on YouTube on how to tell you this. So we're going to be learning how to get notifications on Tweetbot, and it's a very simple process. But let it be known that TapBots, on the next update of Tweetbot, they will be adding notification support. No one knows when this will be, so for now we're going to be using something called Boxcar. Let me show you how it works. So we're just going to unlock our iPhones here, go onto the App Store, and you're going to um, search for Boxcar here. And what this is, this is a notification app. It's free, it's universal, so there's not going to be a problem with that. Alright, so once you open up Boxcar, you're going to be taken to a view like this, where it's going to give you a array of services you could choose from. What you want to do is select Twitter account and press sign into Twitter, that button up here. It'll, um, you know, take you to the Twitter sign in page and whatnot. And you could choose what you want to get na notifications for. So basically everything besides the timeline. And there's advanced settings. You can set a sound. Um, there's a bunch of different notification sounds, but I'm not going to get into that. And the biggest option here is opens. And you're going to select that and simply select Tweetbot from the list right there. So what this is gonna do is every time you get a notification on Twitter, Boxcar is gonna send you a notification and when you slide to view it's gonna then open in Tweetbot. I know it's not native notification support but this is probably the best way you can do it right now. Once you're done press save, I'm not gonna do that since I already have this set up. And now I'm gonna show you an example of a notification using Boxcar. So as you can see, I got my notification here, it played the nice sound, gave me a description of the tweet, and I can slide to view, and it'll open up Boxcar really fast, but then switch to Tweetbot. It automatically went to my at reply section, and if I refresh this, you will now see that I got that tweet. So that's basically um, notification support in Tweetbot. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple to do. Anyway, if you're interested in getting this theme, it's called Picnic. It's only for the standard display. I basically remade all the icons for iPhone 4. I haven't released it yet, but when I do, there will be a video on it. So stay tuned for that. Sorry that was a little off topic, but that's how you get notifications to Tweetbot. I hope this helped, and remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day.